Hi, Kalpun Piso here. As I've been saying at nauseum, here is one fact. Nobody mentioned it. Scientists, religious people, no one mentioned this fact. We are born atheist. In other words, lacking belief. We are product of evolution, of millions of years of evolution. We create thought, the mind, with our brains. We create beliefs with our brains. When a person is unable to tell between fantasy and reality, this is called a psychosis. A very young brain is unable to tell between fantasy and reality. Children cannot tell these things. They accept all the lies and fantasies of people that tell them that as reality. If they go to Disneyland, they believe all this stuff is real. It's exactly the same thing that an adult that believes in, uh, believes in God goes to a, a, a synagogue, mosque, or church, a church believing that everything in the Bible or the Quran or the Talmud are based on fact. How does remembering our own past help us to predict events yet to happen? This is exploring whether there's a link between the way a person thinks about the past and how they imagine the future. It's also false memories too. Brain are used for remembering and which parts are for imagining. That's where religious psychosis comes in, imagining things. Mental health, good genes in the brain comes from. A child, when he grows up, start, even in a religious family, uh, if he goes, he start to differentiate between fantasy and reality, he realizes that if he is infected with religions, these things don't make sense. So he is sane. In other words, he start lacking belief. He don't believe in the retard in the retard things. But if the person adopts the beliefs, Christian or Muslim or whatever they are, believing in God and all that, and keeps going in it, despite of the education he receives, that person is a psychotic. Is a face psychosis in my. Uh, what my, the labor is, that uh, the yeah, Christianity established uh, slavery, by, by the way, them and racism and pedophilia and rest of the other stuff. And it's a mental illness. In many ways, making them <sighs> the leaders idiot. of tomorrow are, are, is proof that God has not yet given up on human beings. Oh, mm, bullshit. Franklin, I know bullshit. God is created by the brain. This is a problem today. No, this to guy psychotic, uh, the Pak Chopra, is creating all this from his brain. And children are molested in school with this. Moron! The Catholic Church will shut down every You're single moral piece of shit. Country. Country. Like and all your retarded, uh, Christ, I got retarded, uh, Christ, I got. told what to do with my life. Not surprisingly, yeah, exactly. What do you is number one in this. Why? Every hippie dippy out of the last 25 years, oh, this country has moved oh, up to Vermont, oh, and now we're ripping the. Oh, oh. This Christian Catholic deluded man believes in a resurrected zombie named Jesus that uh, resurrected 2,000 years ago to save men from sin. Where are the retarded fairy tales of Christianity different from this? Here they are. There's a lot of them here. Old fairy tales. People that believe in stuff like that from uh, 1700 years ago simply retarded. They read the same book over and over and over and over, and over all the time. Looking upward. Uh, and he's still retarded, to living in the past. Look, look, listen, uh, in breaking down this, the decline was in the 1990s. But since yeah, the last yeah, because people don't believe in fairy tales. They grow up. On to present. All these people that you see here in my video are educated. And they're considered normal. Even though they're believing in resurrected zombies and the rest of the nonsense. And nobody mentioned it. They believe in imaginary friends. Christians believe in imaginary friends. Was it because of his railings online against the church's disgraced founder, Ted Haggard? Disgraced founder, Ted Haggard. Discipline into being a Christian and to find out finally that really Jesus had nothing to do with this. But this is no? really sick in mind. No? Pervert and a because you don't know anything about Christianity, retard. That is the reason you're ignorant of it. So you don't know. And support him. And your and parents are ignorant. And your grandparents are ignorant. All these people are ignorant. Your parents are ignorant. All these people are ignorant. Just believes, created in the brain. Accept imaginary friends, just like the schizophrenics do, as real. Clerics pour over religious texts, and people even call in 
to ask exactly when the hidden him up, exactly when the hidden him up. nation under God again. Politics and our faith. I fear from those individuals who feel that they will go to heaven by killing me, I fear for my life. Since religious beliefs and fairy tales and fantasies, they cause dopamine in the brain, they make people feel good. And uh, they have infected the kids and children with creationist museums, theme parks. In all life in the universe 6,000 years ago, there these people are they belong in mental institutions. They belong in mental institutions. A theme park for Christians. Only in America, only in America, we have this this insanity and ignorance. This is the reason we have people like uh, like Sarah Palin and McCain and the rest of idiots that belong in mental institutions. If they kept their mental illness to themselves, it would be okay. But oh no, and they are ex extremely influential. Look at the Pope, for instance, Benedict XVI. The man is very, very dangerous because he influenced all these people. He landed in Africa saying condoms could make the HIV AIDS crisis worse. He Neurology proves we create delusions and the believing God with our brains. And we also create science and inquire and thoughts and everything with our brains. Look at these great men that they never realize that they're producing thoughts with the brain. The things in the universe the brain, that just... make it such a puzzle. And it's only by looking at the very big and the very small that we can piece together answers about how the universe came to exist. Exactly. And why it evolved into something that would include us. Yep. People who are looking at the biggest thing you can think about, the universe. And people who are looking at the littlest thing you can think about, they're really talking about the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> and so suddenly, the first Hubble Deep Field that was so ever taken... All these people are atheists, mentally healthy. ...and galaxies that look just like the galaxies here, that were never visible. This sensitivity helps scientists to calculate the ratio of dark matter to dark energy, forces that will determine how the universe ends. Learn, Christians, this is evidence. Assemble all those different measurements and, and make a map of what the variations yeah. look like. Learn, Christians. Specifically, what particles will be produced in any individual collision? Quantum mechanics tells us all possibilities. Mechanics tells us all possibilities. Michael Persinger, science fiction is rapidly becoming science fact. A motorcycle helmet wired to produce magnetic fields, which influences the electrical activity of the wearer's brain, produces ghosts, angels, and aliens. Since 1971. Dr. Persinger has devoted his research to proving that paranormal encounters are illusions. Create illusions. Then we have Christ psychotic infected doctors that do this. It's morally wrong. Look at what this doctor told this lady. I shouldn't be having sex. Christ psychotic piece of shit. I watched into a lecture about, you know, ethically, you know, how I need to rethink, you share know, how I need to rethink. Rome, so she should. She told us her doctor was Catholic. I have no you go. Christ a cardiac retard. He looks at a mental institution. What kind of doctor goes to school or university believing in resurrected zombies and all that crap, pass uh, medical school and get a degree in science? Incredible. Our bodies are made up of these elements. Exactly. We are literally stardust. There you go, Christians. But Learn. the biggest stars don't go quiet. Learn science. They explode with unbelievable energy. Believing God is a psycho. Believing God is a psycho. Well, here's my universe. Nice, isn't it? We're made of stardust. To do different jobs. Yeah, we are universes. The ourselves. lining of the gut is folded into elaborate structures to speed up the absorption. To speed up the The surface of the tongue, or the covered in papilla, that hide the taste bud. That hide the taste bud. I have universe all over the place. Well, there is an irrefutable fact: as two plus two equals four. We are evolved mutated primates that create belief in God with our brains. Our brains are the universes within. In patch of the orum. Keep it healthy.